Good morning and welcome to your daily weather briefing. We have a, a little bit of cloudiness moving through the area in association with a uh, upper level short wave this morning, but all in all we're going to see pretty tranquil conditions as we go throughout the day today. Comfortable conditions too with those temperatures above normal uh, for this time of year. Likely seeing the temperatures maxing out today in the lower 50s. Looking at our current surface analysis, this, this orange dashed line is representing this upper level short wave that is moving through the area. It's lacking moisture and uh, therefore we are not expecting any rainfall to occur as this short wave pushes through the region later today. But what we will see is an increase in some cloudiness as that moves through the area, seeing uh, partly to mostly cloudy conditions as we go through the uh, late morning and afternoon hours today. I want to take a look at our upper level winds. You can see that freezing level at 3,400 feet and those winds uh, generally out of a west to northwest direction as we go from the lower levels of the atmosphere all the way up to 25,000 feet. You can see those winds increasing with height as well uh, with the winds maxing out around 50 to 51 knots at the uh, 20 to 25,000 foot level uh, with that westerly component continuing at those upper levels of the atmosphere. I want to take a look here quickly at our radar. You can see nothing in our current uh, vicinity and we are expecting uh, dry conditions to continue with the uh, precipitation staying well south of our area. Just an increase in cloudiness expected as that short wave moves through the area. I want to take a look here at our um, infrared satellite. You can see the clouds uh, off to the west that will be pushing uh, through our area as we go throughout the day today. So likely we'll see a little bit more of an increase in cloudiness than what we already have out there as we push through the afternoon, but still should see some peaks of sunshine through those clouds even as it increases uh, later on today. Looking at our uh, model here for the next several days, this is our European model, taking a look at what we can expect throughout the week this week, and as you will see, we are expecting uh, fairly quiet conditions here at Wallops as we push throughout the next several days. This short wave uh, will push through the region today just giving us an increase in cloudiness. Area of low pressure will be developing off the uh, southeast coast as we go into the overnight hours tonight into tomorrow morning but that will be well southeast of our region with that precipitation coming nowhere close to the Wallops region as we go throughout the day on Tuesday. High pressure will build in from the north on Tuesday providing us with uh, Mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies uh, throughout the day on Tuesday. Not expecting uh, any kind of uh, real weather uh, maker moving its way throughout the area over the next couple of days. So uh, expect those quiet conditions to continue as we push throughout the middle of the week. You can see really no uh, big storm systems to speak of. As we get into Wednesday evening, you can see this area of low pressure across uh, Florida begin to develop, but it does look like that will pass harmlessly out to sea with that precipitation really only making it north to about the uh, central portions of North Carolina with that high pressure uh, holding fairly strong over the northeast United States providing us with dry conditions through the day on Thursday. Our next system will uh, develop later this weekend. You can see just a, a weak impulse off the coast could provide us with a sprinkle during the day on Friday and then we'll have a system off the southeast coast during the day on Saturday. Uh, it was looking like we would see a better chance of this storm developing and potentially providing us with uh, some significant rainfall and some windy conditions along the uh, mid-Atlantic coast during the day on Saturday. But uh, today it looks like those uh, models are showing the timing of these systems really not phasing together. And uh, because of that, we're going to see uh, a little bit lower chance than what we were expecting of precipitation this weekend with uh, those showers uh, probably uh, staying mostly to our southeast with uh, just a chance of some of the northern fringes of that precipitation making up, up into the Wallops area on Saturday. And then as that upper level low swings through on Sunday, could see a few more showers uh, possibly behind that exiting low pressure system. But because the uh, two systems are not really uh, timed out to phase together, not looking at as uh, big of a chance of precipitation as what we once thought, and certainly not looking at the big um, coastal storm as some of the models were indicating we could potentially get uh, as we were looking at it last week. But uh, we will certainly keep an eye on that and uh, update you with any changes as the uh, potential is still there for seeing some, uh, uh, some harsh weather conditions as we go into the weekend uh, later this week. 
Looking at our 24-hour forecast, you will see uh, really nothing to be concerned with today. A green chart across the board with uh, no hazardous weather expected. We will see partly to mostly cloudy skies. A warm day, about 5 degrees above what we normally see this time of year with a high of 52. And then overnight tonight, we'll see those temperatures cooling down to around freezing by early Tuesday morning. Looking for a low of 32 under partly cloudy skies. And then as we wake up uh, during the morning on Tuesday, we see those partly cloudy skies continuing into the uh, early to mid-morning hours with temperatures generally running in the 30s. Looking at our next seven days, you're going to see uh, pretty quiet conditions here uh, throughout the week. Looking at our temperatures dropping a bit as a uh, cooler air mass uh, filters into the region behind that exiting short wave that we see later this afternoon. So temperatures down to about 49 degrees for a daytime high. And then we'll see uh, pretty seasonable temperatures for Wednesday and Thursday with those highs right around 45 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Again, uh, the chances of precipitation will be there for the weekend depending on uh, the timing of those two systems. One, a uh, area of low pressure off the southeast coast and then that upper level uh, low pressure system that will be coming down from the Midwest. If we uh, see those systems phase together, we'll see those chances for uh, rain a little higher than what I currently have them at this point, but only about a 55% chance of uh, some rain at this time for Saturday, and about a 30% chance for Sunday as we see those systems uh, move through the region and uh, should be a little weaker uh, than what it would look like a few days ago as well. But uh, we'll certainly keep our uh, eyes open for the uh, potential of some more significant weather for the weekend, but right now looking like uh, just a chance of some rain showers uh, for both Saturday and Sunday with temperatures generally running in the upper 40s. Well, that'll wrap it up for today's weather briefing. We'll be back again tomorrow morning at 8.15 and at 10 a.m. Have a nice day.